everyone, Melissa here in Minnesota, and I wanted to share with you all today how I created this circle right here for this layout. So I am going to start by using the jumbo circle and two, pa two patterns of paper uh, with the blades and then one of the laser cut embellishments for the automobiles collection. So I'm going to set the layout aside and what I am going to do is I am going to use this uh, road pattern as the base of my layout or the base of my circle. Then I am going to take this light blue piece of paper and I am going to cut a piece using my trimmer roughly three quarters of an inch wide. So I am just going to cut along there with my trimmer. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to figure out where I want to place this. So you'll notice in the original layout that I have a strip here. And then I also have this piece here that I have tucked under. Um, and so I am going to show you how I did that. So I'm going to figure out where I'm gonna place that. We're gonna put this circle on here to make sure um, it is where we want it to be. So I'm gonna cut on the outside of this. So we'll go ahead and place that just like that. So I am going to just take a piece of repositionable. But I have a border on there as well. And like I said, I'm using this guy right here. So I'm going to just set that aside. I don't wanna get adhesive on there. And I am going to place this strip along the top of that laser embellishment. All right, now I'll pull this back and I'm going to adhere this strip on there. I want a flat edge to be on the left-hand side. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere this. And we're also going to refill our repositionable adhesive. Just drop that in there like so. And it's wonderful to use repositionable for this um, laser cut embellishment because you see there's the different grooves and you can just go right over the back of it like that um, and to get it like that. So we're gonna go ahead and again, place this where you want it on the paper, so straight there. We're gonna just place this over the top. We're gonna to just look around it. Looks like we've got enough lines there for the journaling. So now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my photos and I'm going to arrange my photos along this edge of the circle. So I am going to line it up like so. So we can add the photos in there. If you have photos that have some uh, scenery in them, it's perfect for filling in for areas like this that you don't have. Um, also, we can place this one in here. Now remember, we're gonna be cutting on the outside of this circle. So it is best um, that we fill in as many areas as we possibly can. So in this case, I maybe would cut the bike out and then add this photo in or add this one in here because now we have the Route 66, but we have some empty spots down here that, and on this side here that we're gonna have to fill in. So probably what I would do in this case is let's go ahead and trim a little bit of this off here, of this photo. Um, it's part of the scenery, so we don't wanna get rid of too much of it, but we'll cut off some of it. And then let's go ahead and add that in there. So I'm going to adhere it, and we're gonna adhere using the repositionable because we might be moving some of our photos around as we're doing this. 
So I'm gonna just place that right up against the edge there and adhere it. Placing my circle back, eyeing to see where I need photos. I am going to need some photos. So it looks like along the top there, some scenery. So how about this piece here, like the top of the mountain? So I'm gonna trim some of this off like so. And then we'll place this there. Again, remember we're cutting on the outside here, so that will cover it. We're gonna have a little bit of a corner in there, but we can fill it. So let's go ahead and adhere this one just above it, like so. And let's go ahead and add this photo right below here. And then I can show you how we can add in and fill in along there, along the outer edges. Okay, so we still have some of this photo left here. Um, we have some of the bottom of it, so it could be filled in down here if we needed to, which it looks like we're gonna need to. So let's go ahead and use this to fill in right here. Again, this is great for when you have uh, floral pictures, scenery pictures, um, just to fill in those edges there as well. If we need something, putting this back, if we need something down here in this corner or up here in this corner, um, we can definitely do some, some filling in there as well. It doesn't look like if we place it so, we probably won't need anything here, we might right here okay so we're gonna need to put something um let's go ahead there's room right here let's go ahead and see if we can't get this part in there so we'll go ahead and trim along here and then we'll just add it to that edge right there Let's see, and it looks like we're gonna be able to um, fit her in there. Now we have some of the bridge. So actually, we could cut off, let's just go ahead and cut that excess off that's hanging over here. And then we can use this piece if we wanted here to fill in, or if we wanted up here to fill in. Let's just see if that fills in the area that we need. And it looks like it's gonna come pretty close, but we still have that area right there, which essentially we could put this in here as well. So we're gonna have a small little corner there, but I'll show you how we can fill that in. So we'll just place that there. Okay. So now let's go ahead and cut out what we do have, making sure you're gonna wanna place this um, on your mat so it's squared onto your mat here. And the reason we're doing that is you don't want it turned sideways because then this is going to be angled. Um, and you want that straight because of the straight lines as well as you're going to use those lines as your journaling lines. So we're gonna make sure we have what we need like I said we're gonna have probably a couple little corners we're gonna need to fill in but that's okay so now we're gonna take our red blade and we're going to place it in the track and holding our jumbo circle down we're gonna cut all the way around this is a great way to use um, a lot of photos so now we're going to just take this piece well, it didn't cut all the way through, through that embellishment, but we can see where it was. So we'll just use our scissors to help it out there. Okay, same along there. And then we'll do the same down here. All right, so now we have our piece cut out. And if you look closely, there's an itty bitty little tiny piece that's 
um, doesn't have a photo, but I don't believe in this case anybody is going to notice that it's not covered with a photo. So now we're just going to take this piece and you're going to adhere it to whatever base you desire. And so I just added mine to some blue paper, cut it down, and then mat matted it on some black paper to frame it in. Again, you've got the edge, so you can add stickers up here for your title, and then you can use these road lines as journaling lines. So again, a great way to put together a collage of photos, um, and like so. So I can't wait to see what you create with your jumbo circle.